Hi, I'm the Rick in Rick Turns. Today, I'm going to make this miniature bowl shaped uh, something like a very small candy dish. This piece is made out of uh, some maple. It's kind of got a nice wavy grain pattern to it. And it really uh, features a wood burn pattern on top. So as you can see, I've got a, a wood burn rose in the middle. And then around the perimeter, I've burned in a, a vine and leaf pattern. So let's get started. I'm going to be making a very small bowl, sort of in the shape of a candy dish, with a, a deep curve going down here to a slight base. Then up here it's going to be curved inward like that. And the first thing I'm going to do is just cut a tenon on here. So it'll go in my chuck. Alright, that's good. Now it goes on the chuck. This is a Nova G3 chuck. Okay, let's see how that looks. Yeah, not around, but I expected that. Alright, I'm going to bring this down around with my skew chisel that I was using before. I want to cut uh, the bottom limit on here, right around here, then I can start shaping it. And I'm going to do most of the shaping with this. This is a half inch spindle gouge. see how that looks. Not bad, but I think I want to take the base down some more. Okay, well we still got plenty of wavy grain showing. I think I'm going to leave it like that. I kind of like that and it's still large enough to be stable. And now I'm going to work on this part right here. Now this is end grain. I want to get as smooth a surface as I can. I don't want to chip it up any. Or, or get a lot of tear out, which is uh, frequently what I'll have. So I'm just going to touch up the edge here with a diamond hone. As I do with all my small turnings like this, I'll go 180, 240, 320, except that's my last piece, 400, 600, and 800. And uh, since that's kind of boring, I'm just going to turn off the cameras for this part. Sanding's about done. Didn't actually take very long. It's a pretty small piece. Now what I'm going to do with this, I am going to leave it in the chuck. I'm not going to cut it off just yet. And I'm going to do my wood burning work on it. And then I'm going to put it back on the lathe so that I can put a um, friction polish on it. So, this comes off and we're going to start wood burning. For this little oh miniature candy dish, I think I'm going to call it, uh, I, I want to put an image right in here. And then around the side, I'm going to put in some uh, vines with little leaves on it. 
So I need a little, I think a flower image would be appropriate. I've got a, a bunch here that I have collected. And when I find what I like, what I do is just uh, cut it out of the paper and tape it onto the piece of wood and then trace it. Here's one of the bowls that I'm, one of the bowls that I've made, fairly early bow with uh, wood burning of a vine picture. This one here, uh, kind of like that kind of a pattern. If you've never done any wood burning, this is a really nice way to decorate your work, uh, particularly if it's plain wood. If it's it's really highly figured wood, if it's gorgeous wood, you don't need to do any wood burning on it. But if it's plain wood, like a lot of this maple is and has very little figure to it, uh, then it uh, it's quite nice to put in a wood burn pattern like some of these that I've done. Now for my pattern on the interior in the center of the candy dish I'm going to use this one right here. Obviously it's a bit too long there and I just want to use the uh, very center of this rose. So what I'm going to do here is get out some transfer paper. This is what this is, transfer paper. It's not the same as carbon paper. Don't make that mistake, which I did. Uh, and what will happen is you cannot get that carbon tracing off of there. This erases with a regular eraser, even off of wood, works very well that way. It comes in various colors. This happens to be blue, but I've also got it in white when I'm working on a dark wood. Now, next step is to actually do the transfers. All right, this little block here is, is just there to help me prop my hand up because this is kind of high with it still mounted in the chuck and all. And so all I'm going to do here is just uh, trace over whatever lines that I want to burn. So I'm going to pry this off very carefully, see how it looks. I can still stick it back down if I need to and go over it, but it probably wouldn't go on exactly perfect. Ah, there we go. So that traced on very nicely. Now, let's get out the wood burning tool. You see it right there. This is a callwood cub. All right, I'm going to put this up to about an eight. Put my wrist prop over here so I can keep my hand high enough. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to leave it sitting at about a number eight. And now it is just a matter of tracing the lines. Now, I want to just put some vines around the outside. And I'm just going to freehand that. It doesn't really matter where I start. And now, it's a matter of drawing little leaves. So I want very fine lines here. So here's a stem. And here is a leaf. Just like that. You put one leaf uh, there, or three leaves there, something like that. 
And this is fairly tedious because making these leaves individually like this takes a while. All right, this is, piece is almost done. I'm going to go back to the lathe now. Final steps here. I'm going to take a piece of very fine sandpaper. This is 800 grit, the uh, finest I used on this piece, and I'm going to just run it very lightly over the surface here. I don't want to remove any of the pattern, of course, but the uh, wood burning edge, it will leave a little bit of a raised edge around there, and I just want to knock that off. So that says it's about 500. And now, for the friction polish. This is a mixture of uh, boil linseed oil, uh, shellac, and some alcohol to dilute the shellac. And it does a very good job of putting a nice high shine polish on here. So the first coat I just wipe on with a lathe not running. So I want to be sure and get it into all the little cracks such as there might be. Then I'm going to crank the lathe up pretty high. And that's about 22, 2300. I can feel the heat building up there, so I'm getting my friction in. More polish. That's got a nice shine on it. Oh yeah, it looks good. All right, I'm gonna stop with three coats. And time to cut it off. For this, I'm going to be using my finishing uh, parting tool. There we go. Not too bad. Still left a little bit of a nub on there, but I've got a fairly smooth finish there that I can just wipe some... Uh, some of the shellac and oil on it. So there we have it. Fairly pleased with that. It looks good. It's, as I said, it's a miniature candy dish. I guess for miniature candy. See you next video.